Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Aries and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, okay? Now this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node so it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. All right, thank you. Start with some oracles here. I'm only taking one cross watcher. Okay, um, Aries, you got a doozy here of a person that you're dealing with. Okay, so uh, starting here with the first one, sideways, we have stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. So they're fighting being this way with you and with others, meaning like they still just resist dropping something about you, someone, something. I don't know. Okay, and then here we have bittersweet sideways joy sideways balance in reversed facade in reversed destiny in reverse so they're just gonna go rogue on you aries okay they're gonna get real fucked up with you and towards you they're bitter as hell they're so unhappy it's fucking with them now and now here's the thing is if you guys are stuck in a in a um fucked up karmic uh contract of some sort binding whoa, whoa. they feel like they are with you others of you it's like they're just not gonna make things balanced and neutral or get a divorce and they're gonna be really fucked up towards you and deceptive and they know they're not even meant to be with you in life at all and doing what the fuck they're doing they're not meant to be they're meant to be doing something else excuse me but they choose to stay here doing whatever so let's see here, Aries, with who this is and what's going on. Oh, the truth is what's fucking with them. Okay, about, I don't know what, maybe you, them, something else. Huh. Well, for some of you, is this an ex? An old ex-friend, ex-family member, ex-whatever, like past people? Or are they obsessed with the past? You know what I mean? Are they just, they can't let go of the past? They can't get over what happened between the two of you, maybe? I don't know. Or they're just going to stay toxic with whatever toxic stuff that they've been doing that they're going to keep doing here with you and towards you in some way, shape, or form. I don't know here, but that's what I see. Now, that's causing them to not really truly want to change anything, work on anything, be of strength to do some stuff here with you. And either they're going to just keep being a player or um, they like do they just use lust towards you if they don't do any of those things they just don't give a shit about you they don't they have nothing towards you and they're not going to make one move no, like take action in any way shape or form they're reflecting on everything going on between the two of you and then they actually starting to realize their own truth about you and them so they're fighting it though so we'll see more here For some of you, yeah, this is someone who fucked up already by even choosing to come back around to get in some business fucked up 
situationship money wise with you this is someone from the past from like co-worker who should have just stayed down when they were down you know what i'm saying stay away um others of you this is someone that's obsessed with you in the workplace and they're just they're never you know what they're gonna waste their lives and be broke and just never get over it others of you sally this is the person you are in a relationship with um marriage friendship business whatever marriage and relationship they know like it's like they're trying to get like find more ways to get more money out of you and others around and they keep reverting back to their old toxic ways with you and towards you in some way shape or form so Ugh. oh well they're going through it their day-to-day -day life is a fucking mess they are so disorganized and going through it and it looks like it's just because that's what's causing them to not want to you know have the strength to even face any of this and do anything Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, they are infuriated while they're at home. They're pissed the fuck off at you. You guys could have fought or um, and this is only if they're living like, you know, um, in their own place or something. If they're living with you. Yeah, there's some shit there, too. There's no passion. There's no happiness. They don't want to do anything here or they're cheating on you either or here. The place is unstable, though. Like it's crumbling already. Very unhappy, very scammy energy, toxic energy here. Whatever is going on there. Unless they're trying to take you down in your home. I, I don't know. Let's see here. And I just heard my head tit for tat. So maybe that. Um, oh, wow, though. But it's like there's something of their own faith or religion or spirituality. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Unless you're, if you're specifically asking about a, well, I don't know. It looks like here. So it's like they have goals and dreams. I'm going to say of their own stuff that they want so bad. Because all of a sudden that causes them to want to be so guarded and defensive from you. And just get the fuck away from you in some way, shape, or form. Um, and just sit there and just try to reflect and figure out what to do. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like here that... Um, they're just going to be more focused on their own money and independence. And that's about, they're just showing that they're just focusing on their own money and independence. And are they going to tell you the truth? Are they not? They don't know. Okay. They leave it like that. Okay. Let's see. We got here. Libra energy. Where is it? Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, bye.